loves like a black hole sun So bright when it burns, so dark when it's done So hard to relate to one when I find myself tripping off that blind What's up YouTube? So today I finally got a video. I haven't uploaded in forever. I'm sorry for that. I just been really wrapped up with life. But in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing this exhaust. This is just like the first look of it because I just installed this last night. And man, this is probably one of the best decisions I made for this bike yet. This is such like a good sounding like pipe. has that like deep growl not like one of those like annoying you know high pitch like exhaust like that old exhaust I had I'm about to play the clip so you guys can kind of hear what I'm talking about after hearing that clip I just realized how much of a like good decision this was I love this exhaust so much Things loud oh man. man I'm so happy with the exhaust I'm gonna show you what it, I'm gonna show you what it's like when you ride it it kind of helps me open my bike up a little bit because you know the Deersies don't come with a whole lot of power this thing kind of helps it be a little bit more responsive just listen Kinda made a little bit of that turn, but I'm so rusty. I haven't I've only been driving my bike from place to place. I've never had any lot time recently, so I am so excited to be out here right now. Alright, so I'm about to take this exhaust on the road so you guys can kind of hear it at a little bit of a higher speed. But wow. This exhaust is beautiful. To my ears, it's music to my ears. So my bike just went into reserve, so we're gonna head over to the gas station right now. So I just got some gas and my initial thoughts on this exhaust is that I think it just makes the bike feel more alive. I don't think it added like any like insane power but it opened up the bike a good bit. Like it's not as boggy as it used to be. It pops up just a little bit easier but all right so we got a bridge right here. I want to go under it and see how loud my exhaust would be. can't get over the sound of this thing. So a long time ago I came here and um, this was like completely abandoned. It was an abandoned airport and now they're doing like some sort of construction to it and it's probably not a good idea to ride here but we at least got to wheelie it. It 
it's pretty crazy this thing used to go on like forever and then they've completely just started doing construction here i guess it's like a dirt road now it used to be paved all the way kind of cool to come back and see what they're gonna do here squirrel oh wow they're doing a lot of stuff down here pretty interesting there used to be a trail that went through the back of that little donut in a pothole <laughs> that scared me a bit well, that was a little cool I got to check out to see what they're building I'm not trying to ride on none of that because they just probably graded all of that I used to love this spot all of this used to be an abandoned airport there was no planes but there was a couple houses right here and this long strip I used to wheelie it all the time pretty cool spot I miss when it used to be Abandoned though. A little drifty. Yeah, it still pops up. This bike is so much more fun to wheelie with the exhaust. It's been a while since I did a good wheelie like that. But I like these little roads back here. I just hope there's no cop. It feels good to be back on the bike. I haven't gotten too much seat time recently. Why was she looking at me like that? We're at a second location now. I just turned my camera off to save all that battery because there's just traffic. It's five o'clock. Not a good time to ride, but just how it is sometimes i like going here because it's supposed to be like a construction place but nothing gets done here it's just been sitting forever it's a fun little place to mess around though oh wow this place got overgrown like crazy i'm gonna climb this hill real quick it doesn't look too overgrown i gotta be careful because there's piles of rocks somewhere here yeah right there got a branch stuck on me I need to come back when it's not as as not as grassy <laughs> crap I couldn't make it up I kept slipping At least I didn't fall on my exhaust side. Whoa, 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 why are you rolling? Get in. <laughs> it just slipped, I couldn't do anything. That was kind of funny, I need to try that again. I am not used to these supermoto tires. It was slipping out so much, what the heck? I'm covered in grass. But this is such a beautiful place to watch the sunset sets right here <laughs> I'm so glad we didn't fall on my exhaust side we fell on the other side I did not expect to fall on that hill I've climbed here back and forth all the time I'm so glad we didn't fall on the exhaust side love that thing I'm gonna try to wheelie out of here This thing feels like a tank compared to my 250. I'm gonna hop this log right here. That surprisingly went very well. All right, so we're now we're gonna go to the lot so I can practice my old tricks so I can kind of relearn them again. I wanna get back my no-handers, my throttle hand takeoffs, and maybe, you know, like bust a couple combos or something. In my first YouTube video, I did a circle wheelie right here. 
So I'm about to recreate it. first time I've ever done that that felt so cool I'm gonna try it again it doesn't count unless you do it two times Woo! second time was the that, that was the one that was the one We almost looped the bike. That was so scary. Woo! That thing went all the way back. I thought it was gone there for a minute, but that was so scary. Which is pretty cool because you can you can see the highway. So I just came back from riding for like four to five hours. I had like a lot of fun riding this. I enjoyed every second of this exhaust, just the sound. The little like boost it kind of opened up my bike a little bit because the stock jets they're kind of clogged like they're not the best jets you can find so this exhaust kind of helps with all that but i think the next thing we're going to get is some jets for the carburetor and the full pipe header i might get like the big header bomb just so it matches because we got the black and silver going on but overall i love this exhaust this thing looks beautiful man such a good purchase Probably one of my favorite things I've gotten for this bike. I'm gonna give you some raw sound clips of this thing right now. In person, this thing probably sounds 10 times louder than what you guys are hearing. I really recommend getting exhaust if you have a DRZ because the stock exhaust is just not one of the best sounding exhausts there is, but just listen to this thing when I pop it up. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you want one of these exhausts, I'll put a link into the, the description. Man, that was cool. I just, I got this thing to a full stop. <laughs> My love's like a black coal sun, so bright when it burns, so dark when it's done. So hard to relate to one when I 